Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Spreading Wellness. Today I am going to show you how to make guacamole. Yes, a real guacamole recipe. So we are going to start. I have four avocados, well, three here, but I just cut the first one and I can give you a little bit of a review of this tool from Pamper Chef. I love it because it's very good, it's very simple to use for cutting the avocado and you don't you don't cut yourself or there's not a danger of cutting yourself because it's not a knife, it's, it has a rounded edge and it's specifically for this. Obviously you can do it for other things too. You're gonna squeeze the avocado a little bit and just get rid of the um, seed or the bone. Then you're gonna scoop it up and put it in your dish here. You know, and just make sure that uh, if there are any parts of the avocado that you don't feel that they, sometimes it, there could be some like black parts or something like that, so just scoop that up and you can get rid of that. Okay, and now we're gonna get this one here. We are always going to leave one of the seeds or the bone into the avocado because that helps for it to not get brown so fast. The hands get a little mess messy, that's okay because you have your hands washed and everything so it's perfectly fine. So we have four avocados here. Usually uh, I probably I count an avocado per person so if you're gonna make it for four people you, at least you put four avocados but uh, you can do one and a half or something like that you know depending on how much they like avocados this time I had four and that's what I am doing now we have the uh, avocados here and ooh, let me grab another tool that I love oh were you wondering what's behind my mom that's the water filter system we use that purifies your water as it takes out toxic metals and ionizes the water with a magnetic technology for a pH of 8.5 to 9. My mom will explain more in a video coming soon, but I want to share this system with you because it's currently on sale until April 15th, so you don't want to miss out. If you're interested, please make sure to contact my mom at eldorito at gmail.com. All right, back to the video. Let's make guacamole. This one is also from Pamper Chef, and it is so good for smashing anything, but especially avocados, or when you make banana bread too, it's very handy. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna give it all in a nice consistency here. Alright, now these are the ingredients, very simple. We have cilantro, we have onion, and I apologize because I don't have exact measure measurements or measures for for the ingredients. I honestly don't measure it when I do the guacamole. I am more of a tasting it and adding more if I need more, and I think it's part of it and I, I like it doing, that, doing it like that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add the ingredients. I usually like to do the onions first. You know, it also depends. I mean, some people like onion a lot, other people don't so much. So just see how much you wanna put in and just, just mix it and, and see, um, you know, have a feel for it. 
and then you can always add more at later. like at like two teaspoons of onion I love onion so I like to make it a little stronger there okay then we are going to add um, the cilantro I love cilantro so you can put as much as you want <laughs> and just make it oh I love the smell and cilantro is really good for removing heavy metals from the body and it's also an incredible flavor for guacamole and salsas and it's a very distinctive herb uh -huh, for us in Mexico and it's becoming in the States too. I know a lot of people don't like cilantro and so I'm going to just mix and then we're going to start putting the salt. The salt is a very important ingredient too. I'm going to add honestly I just with salt is, is very, um, you don't have the right amount. You just have to honestly start putting it on and try it because it just has to be at the perfect point, you know, to taste good. So I know that right now it's missing one because avocados tend to be a little hard to salt. And make sure that you use a good salt, you know, like a sea salt that is like pure and it's not from all the good nutrition in it. Then we're gonna add tomato. And the tomato, the same thing, you know, just see how much you want in it. So I just added a little bit of tomato. I don't put very much, I don't like it soggy. So just add a little bit. Some people don't add tomato, but um, just showing you my authentic recipe here. So mix the tomato in it, and then we have some serrano pepper. This is just a, it's one pepper, but I'm gonna try to put half of it because I, when I cut it, I, can, I could tell that it's hot. And so I'm gonna put half of it. It's just chopped serrano pepper. There we go. And now we're gonna add some lemon. Okay, no, lime, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been living here for almost 27 years and I still get confused with lemon and lime. Because... <laughs> okay, so the lime, you can also use lemon, it's just the flavor is gonna be a little different, but it's okay, you, you just need that flavoring there. And I usually do, um, for four avocados, it's almost half of the, yeah, I would say half of a lime and just mix it all really good. Okay, and now we are going to try it. I just wanna try the, the salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it needs a little bit more salt. That's it, but let me show you. I'm gonna make it, um, I'm gonna make the presentation in just a minute here. I'll be right back. All right, so what you're gonna do is just rinse one of the pits that were from one of the avocados um, and put it right in the middle. And then you can just decorate with a little bit of cilantro around it and it is ready to go. Guacamole, we are at the end of this recipe that was fast. It really just takes a few minutes, so do not hesitate to make guacamole. This holy guacamole by Lily Dorito. I hope you enjoy it and let's give it a try. Mmm. Very good. Thank you.